Hey everyone, I thought that I would show you my little black beauty fish. Uh, this is the black Aranda baby that I got from Lou News back in December. And she has grown quite a bit. She has grown probably about an inch. She seems like an extremely healthy fish. Uh, I hope that you guys can see her. That's um, I might have to turn the light up, that the LED light up a little bit here in a second. Um, the black sand makes it where you can't really see her too good. Um, <clears throat> I'll be removing the sand out of my tanks here soon, hopefully. Um, but I'm just getting tired of it. And plus, you can't really see Mabry that well in this sand or Gus Gus. Mabry is my black Aranda that I'm showcasing in this video. Um, I actually kind of call her the beauty. Um, her name is Mabry. It, like, that was the name that came to me, like, pretty much the first night I had her. When I would look at her face, it just looked like her name was Mabry. And I was like, well, no, I want to think of a more, I don't know, I just wanted to think of a different name. But it just kept coming to me every time I would look at her. It's like that was her name, was Mabry. So, and she is a shy fish. Um, she doesn't dance for me often. She does sometimes, but not much. Um, she does eat from my fingers, but she's still kind of like sketchy and shy about it, and I think she always will be. Some fish are. Um, out of all my goldfish, only two or three of them, th like three of them, are actually shy around me. And even though they, I think they know I'm safe, they're still just like, they don't 100% trust me. Um, and the three are Mabry, the black Aranda right back there. Uh, Benny Jets is definitely the most skittish. And Nesbitt, wherever he is, I think he's up there. Nesbitt is kind of sketchy too. He has his days. It's really weird. It is like Nesbitt is bipolar or something because one day he's like all over my hand and the next day he's like hiding behind rocks and darting around and so, but... This video is really about Mabry right here, the beauty. I call her the beauty because she's just, when she's swimming, her tail and her body just looks like this black velvet satiny blanket floating through the water and she's kind of shy and subtle in her approaches and the way she moves. She's just a really nice fish. Um, I actually love the way she looks. I love her body shape. Um, She's not like really, 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 really dark black, but she's black enough. Um, yeah, so, and she is shy. I'll do another video on her once I get the black sand out. Um, so you guys can really see her. Let me turn the light up on their tank. It might help a little bit. Because these overhead lights don't, I can't like turn the light up on them. Uh, she's right back there. She come up here. You can see her. Let's look at little fish. This is the little fish that I got from Lindsay of Goldfish Rescue of Wisconsin, and um, he's doing good. He is getting very big, and I watched her video of his brothers and sisters, and they're all about the same size. So that's great. Um, yeah, he's getting really big. He's about doubled in size, and I've only had him for a couple months. So he's doing really, and really friendly fish too. Like he, where'd he go? There he is. He like came right up to my hand almost like the first time I tried. Like it is a very eager, friendly fish. It is ready to bond and get free food. <laughs> so and there's little Pickles talking. Pickles has gotten a little bit bigger. I think that she's got something a little bit wrong with her. Um... She just seems like she struggles a little bit. She definitely has swim bladder issues very badly. Where's the beauty? There's the beauty. There she is. There she is. She has really like wide set soft eyes and a soft little face. And this beautiful like velvety tail. And like she's just so cool. And she, she has a really big mouth. Like, when I feed her, she takes down pieces of food like what Loki does or bigger. Like, she, another couple months of her growing like this, she's going to be taking down more food than Loki. And I feed her really good. I'll give her, like, two big bites because 
I want to promote her growing, you know. I don't overfeed her, but I give her very big meals. Because I want her to keep growing and doing good because she is just awesome. And she's not showing any sign of losing her black yet. Um, though I'm sure it'll happen someday. She's just not, not losing it yet. So that's awesome. There's Nesbitt. He must be in one of his social moods. And there's little Gus Gus. Gus Gus is definitely the most social of this tank. Come yeah. Come yeah. Come yeah. Can't you see me? Come yeah. Come yeah. He don't see me. Ooh, there's the beauty. There's the beauty. She's kind of like, um, out of all my fish, she's, that's one reason why I call her the beauty too, is, um, she's kind of like, I don't know, she's like a rare sighting in a way. Like, she really doesn't come up to the top much. She doesn't dance much. And when she does, it's like, it's like finding a unicorn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she's just, <clears throat> she doesn't give her love and affection away easily. Very beautiful fish. She's dancing a little bit right now. She's begging a little bit. I'm actually going to give these guys in this tank a little bit more food because they, I dumped, I gave them all some blood worms and I don't think they, I don't think these guys over here got quite as much, so I'm going to give them a little bit more. There's the two beggars of this tank. Well, no, actually Gus Gus is too, wherever he went. Little fish definitely begs a lot. I haven't thought of a name for him or her yet, but it'll come to me. But yeah, there's there's my beauty. There she is. It's like my little unicorn. <laughs> I'll get her some more food here in a second. And actually, I had to put rocks down in this well because it is empty down in there. And when I the first night I put this in here, and this is when I had Nilly Bean over here, my white one. And she, Nilly Bean is such like a ferocious eater. Um, like she's just very persistent. She checks like every nook and cranny in the whole tank um, for food. Um, she actually got stuck upside down in this well. And I immediately, the second I seen it, I came and like picked it up and got her out. But I actually should have grabbed my camera real quick and got it because all I could see is like her butt and her tail sticking out of this. And she was like not struggling. It's like she just she just gave up and was waiting for me to find her. Um, and, it, and it was really quick too because I had looked over there like 10 minutes before and she wasn't in it. So I, I, she couldn't have been in there more than five minutes. But she didn't get scratched or nothing and I got her. <laughs> but she did that with that little bridge I had in the tanks too. She got kind of caught underneath it a couple times. Um, she's just a very eager little <laughs> predator of a goldfish. She's like underneath every nook and cranny in the tank. Every nook and cranny. So, <laughs> yeah. So there's, um, there's my Mabry, my beauty, my unicorn. Getting attention from her is very rare. She makes you work for it. She's talking a little bit now. Wow, what do you have to say? I'll give her some more food. I don't think these guys over here got as much. All right, guys, this is about nine minutes. I'm gonna let you go so the video will upload. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope everybody's doing great. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.